So the big news coming out of the Simona Halep camp, she has been charged with a second doping violation, which is adding to what she's already having to go through with the case from the Roxa Dastat that was found in her blood last year at the US Open. So let's go have a look at what the ITIA had to say about Simona Halep and this new charge, but also let's go have a look at the response from Simona Halep herself. This is what Nicole Sabstead had to say, the Senior Director for Anti-Doping at the ITIA. We understand that today's announcement adds complexity to an already high profile situation. From the outset of this process, and indeed any other at the ITIA, we have remained committed to engaging with Ms. Halep in an empathetic, efficient, and timely manner. We do of course appreciate there is a great deal of media interest in these cases it would be inappropriate for us to comment on specifics until the conclusion of the process but we will continue to engage with the sport resolutions independent tribunal and miss Halep's representatives and this is what Halep had to say in response on Twitter only about half an hour ago since October 7 when I got charged by the ITIA for a suspicion of doping I have lived the worst nightmare I have ever gone through in my life not only has my name been soiled in the worst possible way but I am facing a constant determination from the ITIA for a reason that I cannot understand. To prove my guilt, while well, I haven't ever even thought of taking any illicit substance. I tried two times to have the opportunity to be judged by an independent tribunal and the ITIA have consistently found reasons to postpone. Now that we have clearly established that I have been victim of a contamination, they came up with a so-called not normal evolution of my blood. Three world-renowned experts that have studied my blood tests have been extremely clear that my blood is totally normal. I feel helpless facing such a harassment and a motivation on their behalf to prove me guilty of something I never did. Once again, all my life, I have been totally against any sort of cheating and doesn't align with my values. The only thing I hope for at this point is to have the possibility to finally access the independent and impartial judges in a tribunal that would give me the chance to prove my innocence. I have full trust in justice, and I look forward to finally being able to present my case at my hearing that is scheduled at the end of May after several delays by the ITIA. The support of my loved ones, the tennis world, and my fans have given me the courage to continue to practice every day and fight for the truth. I cannot thank you more for that. Love, Simona. So there you have it, Simona Halep coming out in response to the initial, or the second charge, now of something else that's been found in her blood. And of course, finally getting a hearing, hopefully at the end of May. She was supposed to have a hearing all the way back in February. Uh, then it got delayed again. It was supposed to happen in March, April. And now she's gonna hopefully get one over the next couple of weeks for the first charge, for the first initial one that happened in August, of course, uh, at the US Open. Roxa Dastat was found in her, uh, in her system. And to find out what that solution is, and now this new one, which we haven't, we don't know what it's about. Is it the same thing? Is it different? They're not giving us any information. But let me know down in the comments below. Do you think we're gonna see Simona Heller back in tennis? Because it's getting to the point now that if two things, if she's found guilty for two different things, that is career ending. I mean, she will be out for a long, long time. Uh, do you think she'll be back? And if so, do you think she'll be back sooner rather than later? Maybe she'll be back for Wimbledon. I mean, best case scenario, I guess, uh, if she gets at the end of May, which is only a couple of weeks away. But a second charge now for Simona Halep, only a couple of weeks ahead of her trial for her first charge by the ITIA.